Alright gamers, welcome back to GTA San Andreas, the Definitive Edition. My name's Envoyant. So we got Zero's junk out of the way last time. Now we're back to business here with Jizzy. So, see what the next mission he's got for us with our dumb muscle. Tebow, pump your brakes, baby. Take a chill pill. And just lay back and let the red mist fall. Breath. Hey, Holmes, open your eyes, dog. Can't you see we're getting messed with here, Holmes? Hey, partner. T-Bone, look. It's Carl. Now, he's a real hero out there. Say. See? We still good. What, are you vato stupid? Someone's on to us. We need to go back and rethink. I think they was just trying their luck. Mike. Mike. I've been trying to contact you. What? Oh, man. Who are you? Okay. Just keep talking. Hey, Holmes, Mike's in trouble. Let's bounce. What trouble? Who is Mike? Man, they taking the yay shipment and the van, and Mike's still in the back. Well, what are we gonna do? How the fuck we gonna know where he's he is? He's got his phone. He's gonna talk to us till his battery runs out. Come on, we gotta bounce. All right, let's jet. Gotta make this quick. Mike doesn't got much time on his battery left. He says he can hear seagulls. Mike can hear gulls. Well, seagulls? Shit, that could be anywhere in this town. He can hear heavy machinery. Heavy machinery? What is that, a building site, a landfill or something? There's a building site in Doherty! Alright, so we gotta go save Mike and the product, so... Gotta go find wherever he is. So Mike's just gonna keep describing things to us over the phone, so... First thing we're gonna do is go to the uh, building site that Carl, you know, hey, is near. In there, Mike. Help is on the way. So... Still got like over five minutes or under five minutes now of uh, time, so he's gonna keep describing places he's not at, but yeah, you know, we'll head in the general direction of where he's supposed to be. But uh, you know, I know where he's supposed to be just because I've played this shit numerous times, you know. But uh, oops, but uh, we gotta go to the construction site first. It looks like it's not triggering as well as it used to. It's been a little refined, probably, to make it so you can't just easy do everything, I guess. I don't know. Sorry. Um, it's a rat D. He says it's busy like a freight depot or something. Great. Oh, they must be down at the dock. Get to the docks in Easter Basin. All right, so now we're going to go down to the docks in Easter Basin, now that we know the construction site is not right, so... Probably the best way is actually down this way. He says they stopped, then he heard gunfire. He thinks they just shot their way through a security gate. They don't have heavy security at the docks, but they do at the airport's freight depot to the airport. Rápido! So now we're headed to the airport, because that's the only one that makes sense to have a security gate there. So now we're off that way. That pretty much confirms that it is the airport that we're looking for, so... Go that way. It's got three minutes, he's fine. I guess, yeah, 1992, maybe. There's the gate! As you did, security go. Hey, this is the place. Keep your eyes peeled for that van. Okay, the tag should work now, Holmes. Tag? What the hell is a tag? After that last bit of trouble, Mike hit the transponder in the white. We was gonna follow it to the gang, but something must have fucked up. And now we gotta use it to find the van and rescue Mike. Oh, how it works. Simple. The closer we get, the stronger the signal. We already got a good signal anyway, so we're probably actually really close on him, so... Might be just down the way here. No, it seems to be fading, so maybe it's the other way. But nonetheless, we were riding pretty good. Yeah, it's going up in this direction, so... Maybe we'll see it. Oh, now it's going down again. Is it this way? Somewhere? Oh, what the hell is it? It's going down now. What the fuck? Up this way. Oh, I see it. Shit! There they are! So we can't destroy it because... Mike will die, so... Gotta be careful. Maybe we just have to keep wrecking it over and over. Ramming it, I mean. Trying to knock these guys off the bikes, but... 
So now we gotta kill the goons, so get out of the car. Oh, put myself in harm's way there. There's just these two guys now. There's one guy behind the van there, I think. Nope, we got him. Hey man, come on, hurry up! It's about time, T-Bone. Who the fuck is this? Hey, that's one of Jizzy's clowns. Relax, Weddle. You hear that? We gotta torch this van with the coke in it. Hey, Charlie, Weddle, we ain't torching nada. This is a setback, but doing 20 to life is a little more than that. Comprende, amigo? Hey, he right, man. Let's do it and get the hell out of hey, here. Hey, who the fuck asked you, payaso? This ain't a committee. Exactly. I call the shots here. Now shut up and let's go. I don't know why, but the shading in that um, cutscene there reminded me of uh, GTA 5, like, perfectly, so... Now the van's torch, we get a little bit of wine level, so now we gotta get the hell out of here before the cops come, so... Take the limo, and, uh, get on out of here. So that's the goal, before the police come. I think we're going to the uh, pay and spray first, so we'll head in that direction. I think it's directing us where to go at least. So we'll do that, whatever it says. Oh, there's, yeah, we gotta go to the pay and spray, that's now. It's telling us, so we got a three star one level as soon as we started leaving, but we got Mike and uh, Mendez, so figured out who the uh, government looking guy is in the suit who uh, uh, Woozy's guy believes is in charge so that's Mike he'll be our buddy for a while I think so streets are not easy to get to the pay and spray but you know is what it is so luckily the train we just missed so don't have to deal with the train to cops everywhere, so take this inside road and then we'll go outside. I just gotta get up here and into the pants for you. There we go. And then, uh, you know, they won't recognize this in the same exact color limo. You know, that's how it works. Ran into me, so I'm glad that the uh. Been working for Jizzy. I haven't seen you before. Just got into town last week. I've done a couple jobs here and there. Just got into town, huh? Where were you before that? Hey, what is this? Man, just ask the fucking question. Look, man, chill. I've been to Los Santos with my family, all right? Give me his wallet. What? Hey, get off. Quit struggling and concentrate on the road. Here you go, Mike. Carl Johnson, <sighs> huh? All right, I've seen enough here. Hey, with the dub in there, better still be there when I check it. Shut the fuck up. Alright, well, so now Mike knows about us, that's great, uh, so, so now he knows that Carl's new in town and such, so, yeah, friendly guy, Mike is, the person is trying to run me off the road, not really, but, you know, so I found it funny, I, I decided to take the route that the, uh, that the thing told me to take, and, Seems a little stupid to go up and down. The way I was going seems a little bit smarter, right? You know, go up and then jump off because it's funny. But uh, nonetheless, as sundown hits, we'll get back to the club. After a successful rescue mission. Lost the coke and everything, so that's kind of a setback, but as Mike said, it's better than going to jail. Okay, Carl Johnson. You did good today. Man, I shake the spot. We got shit to talk about. All right, so we gained some respect and some cash, so that's nice. Um, with that in mind, that's all we have to do with uh, Jizzy and the rest of the guys for now. So the only other missions we got to uh, get to is the ones that Woozy asked us about. So go see our buddy Woozy in just a bit. All right, so we arrived at the betting shop that Woozy owns. We'll go see our old buddy. All right, come on! 
on, you can do it. You can do it. We're close, Puckeye. Easy, man. I'm here to see Wolves. Oh, uh, upstairs. Stupid ass motherfucker. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, go, go, go. Come on, you can do it. I'm Johnson. I'm here to see Woolsey. I work with him. Yes, right this way. Uh, you know of the boss's curse? Curse? Nah. He's blind. Blind? But we was just racing cars last week. Yes, I know. He's blessed with unbelievable good fortune. And the triad that would do anything for him? We call him our lucky mole. I... I keep that in mind. Good. Woolsey! Hello, Carl. Hey, what's happening, Woolsey? You know, how you doing? Straight to the facts. I can't use your help unless I'm open with you about who I am and what I do. Let me reintroduce myself. I am the boss of the Mountain Plowboys. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Why don't you sit down? As Dai Dai Lo of the Triad, it is my responsibility to see that disputes are settled without uh, damaging important business. Where I come in at? We shall see. I'm about to drop in on a local triad that failed to show face at the last Tong meeting. Come with me, and you'll see how we triad settle things without recourse to unnecessary violence. All right, I'll ride with you. Need a ride. Mine's getting some body work. All right, don't trip. All right, so we're gonna take Woozy to the Tong meeting uh, block away. So see how the triads deal with things. Triad have a storehouse around the block. We shall see what excuses they have to offer. Shit. Okay. So this all is talking about some small-time Vietnamese gangs have been making trouble lately. We're not sure why they're gaining any courage now, but I'm nervous about the situation. How do I fit in all of this? You're an outsider. This is a place. Come on, it's this way. Now, where's that loose cop? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Just uh, checking the, uh, you know, just shut up, Carl. This way. Hey, what's with all these people? Where they going? Something isn't right here. We should be careful. Oh, Follow this me. fool! AI's not really working right, but, uh... Now what am I supposed to do about it? If I can just trigger it myself? Maybe. Ah, we're here! This way! Strange, this gate is usually locked. Stick close. Wolves. What's got you so spooked? Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't see you lying down there. He's dead. They all are. The blood feathers wiped out. Die, die low. Uh, forgive me. I was too scared to fight, so I hid. Enough. What happened here? Vietnamese surprised us. Cut us all down. Shit! Did they come again? All right, so now we gotta fight the Vietnamese for uh, ruining the uh, or killing the Blood Feathers, the other triad or one of the other triads in uh, San Fierro here. So now we gotta get revenge by killing the Vietnamese gang that uh, killed them. All right, that worked. There's more guys. Of course, Woozy's useless with a gun because we found out that he's blind, so. Gotta keep that in mind. We gotta fight our own way. This guy's all over the place, so now I gotta be a little careful. Especially with these long range guys. Do I get a headshot? Nope, oh, doesn't look like it. There's a lot of guys in here, so. 
Okay, there's a sniper out here. I don't know if I'm even hitting that guy, he's far away. I got him that time. Alright. Oh, he's still alive. Alright. Still another guy, there he is. We got more company. You drive. I'll send them back to the ship. So we gotta trust Woozy to destroy the other cars, which, I mean, cool, but right, we got this last guy and then we're good. I think he's on fire. Yep, there we go. Thought I just gotta drive him back. I believe that AK was directed at us, but uh, we're alright. A token of the Tog's appreciation for what you did today. Alright, so we ended up uh, getting some money as a token of appreciation, and then uh, we also gained some respect from Woozy, so uh, hand in hand, that worked very well, but uh, that's it. Well, that's not it. Uh, we still got some work we can do for Woozy, so we'll go back and see him very soon. Alright, back at the betting shop, it's a little rainy, but that never hurt anybody. We'll go see what's up. Hey, Woozy, my man, what's going down? Hey, CJ. Let me introduce you to Shuk Fu, Ram Fa Li. He heads the Red Gecko Town on the West Coast. How you doing? Yeah. Mm. Ah Ah Kong has sent word from Kowloon. A Vietnamese crime family, the Da Nang Boys, are preparing to move to the United States. This may explain the cowardly attack on the Blood Feather Triad. Mm. Mm. There may be some trouble ahead. The Shifu would like a package retrieved. A courier has left it in a drop at the airport. It is most important to the matter at hand. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> he is Triad? A mountain boy? No, a personal friend of mine. And less likely to draw the attention of the Danang boys. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for your support. Alright, so now we have to pick up the car at the airport car park and uh, not attract. You know what? Hold on a sec. It's a nicer car over here. <laughs> That's also not damaged at all. I know there's a cop right there. I don't give a shit, but... Um, but, as uh, Woozy said, obviously Carl does not look like a triad. So, it would be better for him to retrieve the package because he would look like a triad. So, I'm going to go ahead to the airport car park, find the car that the uh, package is in, the courier left there. Bring it back for uh, Ron Folly there the other uh, head of the other gang that wasn't wiped out till the red gecko tongue I believe is the name there's the mountain collar boys and then the uh, what's it called the blood feather triad that was wiped out so you know and so the Vietnamese are the enemy right now so they're, they're probably going to be watching the package and we're trying not to attract their attention, so try to get there, no problem, see what's popping from there, so. I believe it's the same way we went here for uh, rescuing Mike. Uh, we turn here instead of going in the security area, so. Alright, so now go inside. Oh, I just gotta get the car. It's far in here. No, oh, it is right here, isn't it? Yep, there it is, the red one. Alright, so we'll park. Get in that car. 
take the package back to Ron Folly. It's an ambush. The Dunong boys are, co are covering the exit. So we gotta get uh, back to the garage without dying. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> that did. So, sneak on through. Car can only take so much damage, that's why I was kind of quick about wasting that guy. So, just gotta get it back, I'm pretty sure, to Woozy's shop, and then we'll be alright. So, shot that. there's guys all over the place. That's what you think. I thought I lost a tire there, that would have sucked. Alright, well, pretty cut and dry from here, we just gotta survive, so. Two guys closing in on bikes, so. Just drive past them here. See if they follow me onto the freeway. Nope, they missed. Ah, that was a good move. They overshot it. <laughs> They might catch up eventually, but I'll see them in the distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Not really. I don't give a shit about an NPC's taxi. If you look at my TikTok, there's a lot of angry taxi drivers <laughs> that I've dealt with. It's pretty funny, actually. So I'd like to believe we're in the clear, but I'm not confident in that, so... Just gonna get back to the shop and then we'll worry about seeing if we're. Oh, there is guys ahead, see? Got a car. You're able to dodge the car there, so. There's another one up ahead. Oh, we're not going to the shop, I just realized. Yeah, I'm watching the map. It's like, yep, we're not going anywhere near there. We're going to the pier. You might have said that, but I probably wasn't listening, to be frank. But. <laughs> Oh well. So there's a car right here. I'm gonna juke him out here. And we'll drop it off at the pier and everything's gonna be alright, so. Very good. Yeah, and another good token of appreciation there. 6,000 bucks. And then uh, some respect from Ron Fa Lee as well as Woozy. So, got that going for us. We will head um, into the bank shop again in the very near future for another mission, but we'll get to that soon. Alright, now that we got the respect of two heads of the triads, we'll go see what's up next. As honored as I am to share my home with you, we should lure these lizards out into the baking sun. We were followed here. The Danang boys are watching this apartment. As soon as we leave, they will attempt an assassination. Hey, what's the big deal? Why don't you cruise on out of here, lead them to a place quiet, and cap they flat asses? No offense. None taken. <laughs> we find you funny. Tch, look, as long as they think Mr. Farley here is in the back, they'll follow me wherever. After a while, you can come out safely. Simple. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Your success will be rewarded. Mr. Johnson. Alright, so now the idea is we're going to get into this kiddo, or this decoy, and what we're going to do is we're going to drive it way the frick out there into the countryside, and then uh, we're going to be followed this entire time. I don't think actually visually, but theoretically. Um, followed by the Vietnamese because they think Ron Pha Lee is in the back. He's not. And uh, they're going to be very aggressive because obviously they're trying to kill him and wipe out all the triads so they can have San Fierro for themselves uh, when the time comes. So, yeah, we got to drive somewhere out in the Whetstone. It's really stupid, but it makes sense, I guess. Because yeah, then uh, I don't remember his translator's name. Sun, Sun Folly, I think? Yeah, or, presumably. Um, so. If they can leave without being uh, a target, because we would have lured them all out in the countryside, and it's going to be a while before they can even fathom what happened. And they'll realize that they've been tricked, but at least that's that's all speaking, not totally in theoretics, but 
you know, if everything goes well here, so. Driving in the countryside, my favorite. But at least where we got ahead has a, uh, has a, uh, complete, um, track of where we're headed, so I don't have to drive through random nothing in order to try to find the space that they have designated, so. See, this this isn't the way that I normally would. Like, I think back to when I played this game on the original and the path that I took, it certainly isn't this, but if it makes more sense, then maybe I'll remember it. But, could just gone to Angel Pine and then told myself go sit over there. But I didn't. So, park here. And now we see the Vietnamese have caught up. So, we gotta follow the checkpoints through the countryside, so we have to make sure that our car doesn't get destroyed because then it will be very revealing that, uh... Oh. Well, I might have killed the guys. Um... So we can't leave the decoy car because then it becomes painfully obvious that there's nobody in there, so this guy can fuck off. That'd be great. But, uh, just gotta keep driving, make sure we don't get damaged. Try to get close to the edge there. I think what happened happened. Or I think what I wanted to happen happened. I think he ended up going up on the, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, well, it won't be bad. I got worried that I was going to roll the car and then blow it up. But, uh... These narrow pathways are not good. Not good at all. I almost want to brake check him, see if I can smack him in. We're not in a... we got to get in, like, a good straightaway, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. When they'd hit a tree. Damn it, so close to making him hit the tree. I think he backed off a little bit though, so use this time to our advantage without getting shot because we're very damaged. I think there is a, there is a possibility where if like the windows or doors get blown off, they can see inside and see that there's no one in. So it's actually important to keep the car steady as far as the damage output, so just gotta keep driving here. Hopefully we'll get there without the damage bar filling and then them seeing what I see. Oh, we gotta turn right. Okay. Then we head through the tunnel. Oh, damn it, they're coming up on me. Yeah, they're gonna be faster than I, so this tunnel could be bad. There's not any oncoming traffic either to make them swerve. Damn. I think we're good. I haven't heard firing or I don't hear the motorcycles behind me right now, so I think we're okay for the time being. I believe that checkpoint's the last one, because it is at, like, some building, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I believe that's all. So we'll get up on there. Alright, perfect. Mr. Johnson, it's Guppy, are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. They took the bait like morons. Mr. Ramfire Lee, get out alright? Yes, Woozy is taking to safety. Thank you. Cool. I'll see you later, man. It's decoy! Back to Chinatown! Alright, so they got got, and uh they pay the price kind of I guess but uh, anyway that is gonna do it for this episode here of uh, GTA San Andreas the definitive edition we'll head back to San Fierro I don't know what missions I believe we have car uh, missions for Carl and that's all um, oops in San Fierro but that's where we're headed next uh, might as well save here at the uh, safe house but uh, that's gonna do it for this episode of San Andreas as I said thanks for watching and more than ever take care